Hey there everyone, hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to talk about the Guitar Lab software 5.0 and three buttons that you may not be familiar with yet. This button here is an enlargement button or um, magnification button. This button is a device eject button and this is a internet connection button. And here we have a uh, Guitar Lab software live up and running connected up to a uh, G14 unit. And your magnification button is here to the right towards the middle. Your internet connection button is up on the upper right. And your eject button is on your upper left. I'll talk about the internet connection button first. If it's blue, you're connected to the internet. If it's red, you're not. And what this may help you uh, to know when you're connected to the internet is that you can access the news page, which is uh, going directly to the news page at the Zoom site. And in the news site, you'll have uh, updates for your particular device, uh, you got A14 and G5N, and you have more details about your uh, updates on the left-hand side. The other button I wanted to talk about is your magnif magnification button. Let's press that. And then it'll magnify your patch parameter um, adjustment screens. And it magnifies it a little bit. I'm using my mouse to scroll right and left, but I believe there's a bar here. Yes, there's a bar here that you can drag your mouse over to go right and left. On my Mac, I have a uh, magnification feature. So I'm going to enable that, and this really shows the detail of what's on your dialed in on your parameters. So that helps me. However, most of the time I'm zoomed out because then I can see all the parameters. I've had uh, six no, or seven screens up, and uh, somewhere I thought I saw eight. But anyway, um, when you're not magnified, you'll see all your parameter screens to your associated effects here. And the third button I want to talk about is your eject button. I have a G14 connected. And if I press the eject button, it'll eject this device and your editor and um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'm not connected to the internet. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that's happening. Anyway, uh, your patch screen and your effect screen will be blanked out. We'll see when this internet connection comes up. But anyway, uh, going back to this eject button, let's uh, press that see what happens. And then um, your, um, your blanked out of editor, patch, and effect. And your patch screen, you know, still list your saved patch pool. And, um, yeah, let's click on use without an internet connection. Oh, it's still up. <laughs> the internet connection came back. Funny things happen sometimes. Okay, um, if your device is still connected, you'll have this refresh button. So let's use that to refresh and get our device activated and recognized. 
takes about a minute. There you have it. You can also just unplug and it'll do the same thing, but it, you won't get the refresh button. I'll just show you that real quick. So I'm going to unplug the cable. And you don't get a refresh button. Uh, since you're connected to the internet, and you're able to access your news and updates. So I'll plug back in. Take about a minute. Boom. There you go. You're back in action. Back in business. I think that's all I wanted to talk about, those three subjects. Um, in future videos, I'll discuss what's going on with this clipboard here. You may be seeing a few things that you haven't seen before. So I'll explain a little bit about that. And then on another video, I will probably explain more about uh, what's going on in patch pool here. Okay, well, I hope uh, this has been interesting and informative. Uh, please support my channel by uh, liking and subscribing. And uh, if you're um, motivated to do so, uh, please donate through my PayPal links so that I can buy proper equipment to uh, get some better videos up here. I'll also be looking at some other devices I have. Um, like I mentioned before, I have both G14 and G1X4. And in fact, uh, I'll be plugging in a G1X4 and you'll see, you'll get, um, you'll get an extra function in the pedals. And it's kind of weird because usually when I plug in a G14, um, this pedal doesn't come up. I mean, um, yeah, if, uh, if I have a G14 without the pedal, usually this is uh, empty here. And usually you get the pedal parameter or pedal feature when you have the G1X4 hooked up. So it's kind of interesting. I'll kind of look into what's going on here and I'll uh, get a, another video uh, posted. Okay, thanks a lot. And... Um, Take it easy and we'll see you later.